Hi there, this is Matt from iDeviceMaster.com and in this video I'm going to share with you 25 ways to conserve your battery power. So first of all I'd like to point out that you, while you can do all of these, you really shouldn't as they disable some of the functionality of your iPhone and that really defeats the purpose of having it. But if there are any of these tips that uh, disable something that you don't really care about, then go ahead and do them. So first of all, um, there's a simple test to see if you really even have a problem. What you're going to do is go to settings and then general, then usage. Scroll to the bottom and look at the usage and standby times. Write these numbers down somewhere and then put the phone to sleep and set a timer for five minutes. When the five minutes are up, check the numbers again. The standby number should have gone up by about five minutes and the usage number should not have gone up much at all. In uh, my example here, my usage time went up by two minutes. That means that my phone is working on something while it's supposed to be asleep. So if your usage time went up by less than a minute, it's unlikely you have an issue and it's probably just due to how much you're using your phone if you're seeing a battery issue. So that being said, here are the 25 ways that you can conserve your battery power. So number one, disable background app refresh and location for Facebook. So this is a suggestion provided by an ex-Apple genius called Scotty Loveless on his blog overthought.org. He found that Facebook was using memory and processing power even when he wasn't using it. Here's how you do this. Go to settings then general, then background app refresh, find Facebook and turn the slider to off. Secondly, go back to settings and then select privacy. Now location services and again find Facebook and slide that slider to off also. So tip number two Disable the background app refresh for other apps. First go to settings, then general, then background app refresh. Now what you're going to do here is look down the list and if there's any apps that you don't use that often or you don't really care if they're always updating in the background then just go ahead and disable those. So tip number three, stop quitting all your background apps when you're multitasking. So you often see advice to, um, to help you save battery life is to actually shut down all the background apps. Well, Scotty Loveless again reckons that this is actually hurting your battery life more than helping it because every time you restart those apps, you're having to reload them into the device's memory. So my suggestion is try it both ways and see which one makes a difference for you. So tip number four, limit GPS and streaming of music or video on the go. So if you're in the car, for instance, you're streaming music, try to plug it into a power adapter. And especially if you're using GPS, things like apps like Google Maps or Apple Maps in the car, always plug your phone in. GPS will drain your battery very quickly. So tip number five, turn off unnecessary vibrations. You may have vibrations set up for everything and although those are useful to remind you things like when you have a call, like when your phone is on silent or in your pocket, but you may have vibrations set for when you receive messages or emails as well. So if you go to settings, then sounds, and then scroll down and you can see where it says sounds and vibration patterns. You have a, a, a series of different um, selections there. If I go to a text tone, you can see that I have vibration set to staccato. If I go to new mail, um, now you can see I have vibration set to quick, which I don't need a vibration necessarily when I get a new mail. So I scroll all the way down and then select none. And now I'll have no vibrations whenever I get an email. Tip number six, disable push email. So push email is where your email server pushes email to your phone whenever it arrives. So you get email instantly. The opposite of that is fetch email and that's where the phone goes out and collects email to a set schedule. So if you don't need to act on emails the instant they arrive, consider using fetch and setting it to an infrequent schedule. Here's how you're gonna do this. So first go to settings, 
and then mail contacts and calendars and you can see here it says fetch new data set to push now here shows all my email accounts and I can basically select each one and determine whether I'd like to fetch or push my email so if I select my ME email here it's at the moment it's set to push and I can change that to fetch instead go back to the main mail screen and then scroll down and here you see it shows you where the schedule is for fetch and I can set that to every 15 minutes uh, to an hour or to a different time that I set manually this means your phone's going out much less frequently looking for email it will save you battery tip number seven turn your Wi-Fi off now this sounds strange but if you're you're not at home or at work and you're not likely to be using Wi-Fi turn it off this is because if it's on your iPhone will continually be searching for Wi-Fi hotspots and that uses battery so to turn it off simply swipe up from the bottom to activate control center and then hit the Wi-Fi symbol top left and it will turn your Wi-Fi off tip number eight turn Wi-Fi on so if you're at home or at work or somewhere that has a Wi-Fi hotspot turn your Wi-Fi on and that's because Wi-Fi uses a lot less power than cellular data and also plus it doesn't eat all of your data tip number nine lower the brightness on your screen now, this seems obvious but a bright screen does use a lot more power so the simplest way to do this is you're going to access the control center again and then there's a brightness slider and you can just simply slide that up and down to control the brightness so tip number 10 similar to number 9 you're going to use the auto brightness feature so to do this go to settings then wallpapers and brightness and there you can see there's a brightness slider again and also an auto brightness selector you can set that to on or off if you select it to on then it will change the brightness depending on whether you're in a dark or a light room tip number 11 disable push notifications for apps that you don't need so every time you receive a notification it lights up your screen makes a noise and it vibrates usually so hundreds of notifications that can be distracting and it also can deplete your battery to do this go to settings then notification center and then scroll down and you'll see all the apps listed that are in your notification center find an app that you're not so interested in and there you can see you have a variety of options to really shut that down so you can set the alert style to none you can decide not to show it in notification center you can turn off the lock screen and the sounds tip number 12 change the screen lock time to one minute this is the time it takes for your phone to automatically lock after you last touch it so to do this go to settings then general and then auto lock and there you see different timings if you set that to one minute your phone will automatically lock after one minute and that means the screens on for a lot less time tip number 13 if you're in an area with poor or no cell phone coverage consider putting your phone into airline mode I've seen this particularly when uh, traveling abroad and the phone's always trying to find the best network that can use your battery up very quickly to select airline mode you're going to swipe up into the control center and then just select the airline symbol top left tip number 14 turn off motion animations these look cool to start with but can seem unnecessary after a while so consider switching them off so to do that you're going to go to settings then general then accessibility scroll down until you see reduce motion and you can turn that on or off tip number 15 disable the dynamic backgrounds so go to settings and then wallpapers and brightness select choose a new wallpaper and there you can see there's some dynamic backgrounds if you select one of those what you have is a sort of animation on your screen and that uses up additional power so you can see here I've set one for my uh, lock screen and then when I uh, access it I get a nice animation which looks pretty cool but it does use extra power so turn that off tip number 16 turn off Bluetooth 
So if you don't need to connect to a Bluetooth headset or your car for a while, consider turning it off. So to do that, you're going to swipe up again from the control center and just hit the Bluetooth button and it will be turned off. Tip number 17, turn off your LTE or your 4G. These are the higher powered cellular data bands which can use more battery. And that's especially if the signal strength is low. So to do that, you're going to go to settings, then cellular, and then you'll see where it says enable LTE. You can turn that off. Tip number 18, turn off location services for apps that you don't necessarily need to track where you are. So to do that, you're going to go to settings, then privacy, then location services, and then scroll down to look at apps that you don't need to track you and just select which apps you don't need to track you to off. Tip number 19, turn off AirDrop. This is a cool feature that allows you to share stuff with fellow iPhone users. However, you don't need to have it on all the time, constantly looking for those around you. So to turn that off, you're going to swipe up from the control center and then select AirDrop and then switch it to off. Tip number 20, disable auto app updates. So if you don't want your apps updating when you are not plugged into power, you can disable this feature. So to do that, you're going to go to settings, then iTunes and App Store, and then select updates and set it to off. Tip number 21, disable raise to speak for Siri. This is where the phone senses when you lift the phone to your face and it will activate Siri automatically. So if you never use that, consider switching it off. So to do that, you're going to go to settings, then general, then Siri. Deactivate the raise to speak option. Tip number 22, turn off frequent locations. This is where iPhone will keep track of the places you've recently been as well as how often and when you visited them. And this is in order to give you more personalized services. So if you don't think you need this, you can turn this off. So to do that, go to settings, then privacy, then location services, scroll all the way down to the bottom, then system services, select frequent locations and turn frequent locations option to off. Tip number 23, prevent Spotlight from indexing unnecessary files. So to do this, you're going to go to Settings, then General, then Spotlight Search. Here is listed everything that Spotlight Search is going to index. So just uncheck everything that you're not really bothered about and you don't need to show up in a Spotlight Search. Tip number 24, disable system services. Here you're going to go to settings and then scroll down and select system services and then here you can just turn off whichever of these you're not interested in. For instance setting time zone this is constantly checking to see what time zone you're in so if you're not traveling anywhere consider deselecting that. And finally tip number 25 make sure your, your software is always up to date. So Apple regularly updates their iOS software and that will fix software bugs in each release. To do that you're going to go to settings and then general and then software update and you'll see that it'll check for an update and if there is one you'll it'll give you some further instructions. So if you'd like some more free tips uh, you can either subscribe to my channel by clicking subscribe or you can visit us on the web at iDeviceMaster.com. Thanks very much.